Hello friends, welcome back to Art with Mr. Eck. So today we're going to be using the principal design form to make artwork. Form is uh, any artwork that is three-dimensional, 3D. And we're going to be making a sculpture out of something you probably have just laying around your house, aluminum foil. Um, before I show you how to do that, I want to talk just for a minute about symmetry. Symmetry is when you have something that's split. If you were to make a line right down the middle, this side perfectly matches this side. That's, they're symmetrical, that's symmetry. This side matches this side, it's like a mirror image. Uh, but if you have it split down the middle and this side doesn't exactly match this side, it's asymmetrical. And uh, we're gonna be uh, sculpting a tree today. And I know a lot of people draw trees, like cartoony basic trees, very symmetrical, where it's just like a this kind of cloud shape and it's almost perfectly matches. But if you go outside and look outside a window, and look at a tree, trees are all kinds of interesting shapes and they're usually asymmetrical. So um, the artwork we're going to be using today is going to use both form and it's going to be either symmetrical or asymmetrical. I will say it's pretty hard to make something perfectly symmetrical. So let's just make it asymmetrical and have fun. All right, so um, this piece of paper is just to show you how I'm going to be dividing up my foil. So this main area is going to be the trunk, the tree trunk. I'm going to do five long lines from the top and these will be my branches and the and i'm going to do four short lines at the bottom these will be the roots and that will make sense uh in just a moment with uh, what we're going to do so let's go to the overhead cam i'm going to show you how to divide up your foil and then how to crunch it into shape so first i'm going to divide my foil up in a way that resembles uh, this little piece of paper that i drew for you and i'm going to be using a sharpie but you can use any kind of marker anything that will leave a mark. Um, this is not something that's going to be visible once we make our tree, so it's just important for helping you cut in the right areas. So first I'm going to do my five long lines. There's one, two, three, four, five. By the way, I started in the middle. Focus that. I started in the middle because uh, that way it helps me space things out um, more evenly across the whole top. And then I'm going to move it so you can see this, and I'm going to do four short lines on the bottom. And there is no middle of four, so I just uh, divide it up as best I could. One, two, three, four. And then the middle will be front. I don't actually need to write that. I only wrote that here so you can see that. So next I'm going to cut these, and then I'm going to show you how to crunch this into a tree shape. Alright, so now we got something that looks like a weird floppy thing like this. Let's turn it into a tree. So I'm going to explain it, then do it because it, it rattles. So first I'm going to gently crunch from the outside in on the middle part. That's going to make the trunk. With foil sculptures it's very important to, um, to squeeze very lightly because once you compress it it's very hard to open it back up and try again uh, without tearing it. So really you want to start uh, very light pressure and then you can always add more. So let's do that first. I'm going to start from the middle and I'm going to just crunch in from the outside. So that is my trunk. I'm going to stop there. Then I'm going to find my individual roots and I'm going to compress those. Just kind of squeeze them in my fist like, like that. I'm just kind of letting my tree take the form here. And then my branches, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to squeeze them. I'm going to squeeze them harder on the edges because branches get smaller the further they get away from the tree trunk. Alright, so now I've got a basic shape of a tree. Now I'm just going to um, kind of play around with it and finalize where everything's going to go. I'm going to start crunching harder at this point. Down. I want it to sit firmly on the ground. The roots are going down into the ground. This is going to be a uh, leafless tree. I guess if you wanted to cut some leaves with some green, uh, yellow, orange, or red papers, you could do that and glue those on there, but uh, that's for someone with a lot of time on their hands. 
All right, so there you go. I think I think that looks pretty cool. So um, the next stage would be to get some kind of a base for this. I I recommend a small, maybe five inch by five inch cardboard square. Use some hot glue uh, with parental uh, support if need be. Um, if you haven't used that before, and uh, glue that down um, because it dries very fast and it holds very well with foil, from my experience. Um, and then you'll have a really cool, very stable. Um, tree sculpture to uh, decorate in your home. Maybe you can even add some uh, accents to it and it can end up being uh, something you put out for Halloween. I don't know, whatever you like. I really like the, uh, the foil of it though. Uh, the silver looks really cool. So anyway, I hope you had fun with this uh, simple exercise making form out of uh, some aluminum foil and uh, learning a little bit about uh, symmetry and asymmetry and I will see you guys next time.